Hey guys, this is Eric from uh, Gandhi Family Farms. I'm going to cook some venison up tonight. Uh, everybody's going to be home in an oh, hour and a half or so here. And uh, we're going to do some venison and some, probably some rice. Probably a veggie. We'll try to mix something up a little bit schnazzy here. So, hey, I'm going to get to it. Uh, this is going to be kind of hard one-handed, but we're going to give it a shot. All right, first we're going to get our cutting board and we had defrosted our venison uh, we're, do, we're cooking venison round steak uh, it would be the rear leg of the animal um, some people call different parts of their deer different things that's what we call round steak here um, that's what we're we're used to cooking um, we're going to be cooking roughly two pounds um, this is kind of like a more of a uh, steak sandwich style of, uh, of meat uh, we've done this many different ways before in the past um, we've made um, flour you know just flouring the I probably should have showed this just a minute ago, but uh, we package all of our venison now in vacuum sealed bags. This lasts so much longer. Um, we used to use just freezer bags and they would only last a year and the meat would get freezer burnt bad no matter how much air we tried to get out of them. So uh, we invested in the food saver uh, vacuum sealer and it is great. We love it. We use it on whole bunch of things around here um, vegetables our meat um, so it's, uh, it's really saving us a lot of money too because we don't have all that lost meat so what I'm gonna do here is uh, like I said this is just round steak and we're gonna cut it into to about half inch slivers so um, just roughly I've already when I cut this up and package it I I trim it pretty well um, right there so I don't have when I thaw a package of meat I don't have to go around and, and do a whole bunch of trimming and you know when I want to eat something I want I want to be able to defrost it quick and then start cooking so we get all this chopped up here like I said there's lots of people they'll they'll take a, a cut like this and um, flour it and that is very well too um, if you flour it like that you should probably on a round steak you should probably pound it um, or you have to you almost have to cook it so long that you cook all the, the flavor out of it so rather than cooking it so long if you pound this round steak it does make a much tender cut Okay guys, now that we got all of our venison meat cut up, uh, we're gonna, we have our pan warming up. We're going to, we're just gonna put a little olive oil in the pan. We don't wanna, you know, drown anything by any means, but just to kind of keep, you know, any of that meat from really getting stuck. Venison's such a lean meat that it's, it's kind of easy to, to burn if you don't have that. Coated. So we're just going to add our venison in here. There we go. I'm going to 
trim has to dry down just a little bit. Rinse the hand off. All right. I'm going to add just a little bit more of the uh, olive oil here. Okay, now we're going to add uh, some of our minced garlic. This is just regular minced garlic out of a can. Um, this is something that has not started to grow in the garden yet, but uh, we will be hopefully this year. So, And then um, just some onion powder, and I just do this. I just do this kind of lightly. You don't want to put too much of any of this in there. And then I put a little bit of uh, Worcestershire sauce in here. I put a little bit now, and then I'll put a little bit more closer to the end when we go to finish this. Um, get a spoon here quick. Give this just a quick little stir. Whoa, there we go. You can see me now. And for whatever reason, um, this pan gets really hot right in that very center, like pans often do. I also have some ground black pepper, just regular black pepper, but I can't grind it with one hand. That looks good now. We're just going to set the lid on. I usually leave the lid just cracked a little bit. Set the lid on and... I'll turn it down just a wee bit here right now. We're a little hot. We're gonna let that cook down and we'll be back in a few minutes. Okay guys, we're about halfway done here uh, cooking this venison. Uh, we'll give her a stir quick, eh? There we go. It will uh, give off a little bit of juice here and uh, while it cooks down. The longer, once it kind of browns off quick, I'll turn this right down, which is actually right now. We're gonna just let this simmer now. The longer it can cook, the more tender it'll be. So I usually leave this on very low heat for as long as I can and just watch and make sure that none, uh, that the uh, liquid does not dry up in the pan. If it does, uh, we can put a little water in, a little more Worcestershire sauce, um, a little more olive oil. Uh, I, try to, I try to stay away from that much olive oil though. <laughs> So yeah, we're just going to let this sit here and simmer and we'll finish up everything. Hey guys, this is almost done here. We're going to take a quick look, uh, give her one last stir, and then I think we're going to plate up. Yeah, that looks good. Wish you guys had smell of vision out there. This is awesome. The best. One of the best things you can eat. Okay, here we go. We're gonna, I'm gonna stop for a minute. I need both hands and uh, plate this up and uh, we'll come right back. Okay guys, here's our finished venison dinner. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the recipe. It's uh, pretty simple. It took me half hour, 40 minutes to whip up. Uh, something real good and nutritious for you and the family. Um, if, you, uh, if you guys like this, Comment down below, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and we'll see you next time.